Come, let us worship and bow before the only Lord Jesus Christ, the King and our God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lord my God, how great you are. Clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretched out the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. Make your angels spirits and your ministers a flaming fire. You planted the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The water stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You set limits they might not pass. Lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. From your dwelling you water the hills. For drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. That he may bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer man's heart. Oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests, on the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains. And rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness in his night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth, the young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun, they steal away and go to rest in their den. Man goes out to his work to labor till evening falls. How many are works, O Lord, in wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
before our Holy Father, Francis Poporom, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William for God, loving Bishop Milan, for the Venerable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for the months of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, Oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea or on the land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And that we be delivered from all affliction, rest, and need, oh, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. God save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate your most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, that Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us come to ourselves and one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you. Morning and noon, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, and we pray to you, Master of all and loving Lord. Let our prayer rise like incense before you, and do not let our hearts be turned to evil words or thoughts, but deliver us from all that might instill our souls. For to you, Lord, the Lord, our eyes are turned, and you we hope. Let us not be put to shame, O our God. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is your glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever. Amen. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O oh Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. What shall he repay you in return, O treacherous tongue? The warrior's arrow sharpened, and calls you at half blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshech, dwell among the tents of Kedar. Longing as if I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble, let him sleep not nor guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers, Israel's guard. The Lord is your guard and your shade, at the right side you stand. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. I rejoice when I heard them say, let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly founded. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's God <coughs> is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment on the house of David. For the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes. May peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace. For love of my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the my eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Like the eyes of a servant on the hand of her mistress. 
so our eyes are on the Lord our God Lord till he show us, us his mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with proud man's disdain. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's soul. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when they then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord, who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our life like a bird has escaped from the <coughs> snare of the father. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to you, O God. Please turn to page 67. Oh Lord, I have, have cried, cried to you, hear me, hear me, oh Lord. Oh Lord, I have cried to you, hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Envious of your flock, almost your one, the 
adversary constantly besieges it, hoping to make a meal for himself. But you, O Theotokos, deliver us from his clutches. We saw a better hunting. O joyful light of the holy glory of the Father. Be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, you righteous ones. Be glad in the Lord, and rejoice, you righteous ones. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven. Whose sin is remitted. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones. Wisdom, a reading from the book of Genesis. Let us be attentive. At that time, Cain left the Lord's presence and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Cain had relations with his wife, and she conceived and bore Enoch. Cain also became the founder of a city, which he named after his son Enoch. To Enoch was born Irad, and Irad became the father of Mehuchal. And Mehushael became the father of Methusael, and Methusael became the father of Lamech. Lamech took two wives. The name of the first was Ada, and the name of the second, Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, the ancestor of all who dwell in tents and keep cattle. His brother's name was Jubal. He was the ancestor of all who play the lyre and the pipe. Zillah, on her part, gave birth to Tubal Cain, the ancestor of all who forged instruments of bronze and iron. The sister of Tubal Cain was Naamak. <clears throat> Lamak said to his wife, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, wise of Lamak, listen to my utterance. I have killed a man for wounding me, a boy for bruising me. If Cain is avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seventy-sevenfold. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she bore a son whom he called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. To Seth in turn a son was born, and he named him Enosh. At that time, men began to invoke the Lord by name. Wisdom of the Atahanti. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us. May your mercy be upon us. Bring out your joy to the Lord, 
O oh, you just for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. May your mercy, O oh Lord, be upon us. May your mercy be upon us, who have placed our hope in you. Wisdom of the Atlante, the light of Christ, shines upon everyone. Reading from the book of Proverbs. Let us be attentive. Thus says the Lord, drink water from your own cistern, running water from your own well. How may your water sources be dispersed abroad, streams of water in the streets? Let your fountain be yours alone, not one shared with strangers, and have joy of the wife of your youth, your lovely hind, your graceful doe. Her love will invigorate you always. Through her love you will flourish continually. You will lie down, she will watch over you. And when you wake, she will share your concerns. Whether you turn, wherever you turn, she will guide you. Why then, my son, should you go astray for another's wife and accept the embraces of an adulteress? For each man's ways are plain to the Lord's sight. All their paths he surveys. By his own iniquities the wicked man will be caught. In the meshes of his own sin will he be held fast. He will die from lack of discipline. Through the greatness of his folly, he will be lost. My son, if you have become surety to your neighbor, given your hand in pledge to another, you have been snared by the utterance of your lips, caught by the words of your mouth, so do this, my son, to free yourself. Since you have fallen into your neighbor's power, Go, hurry, stir up your neighbor. Peace be to you, reader. What my present to you like in sun? And I will think up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. Let my prayer ascend to you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. O oh Lord, I have cried to you, now hear me. Receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Let my prayer ascend to you like incense, and the lifting up of my hands like an evening sacrifice. O Lord, set the guard before my mouth, 
Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory. Bishop Milan, not our bishop, but Bishop Milan Kautur, Bishop of Košice, he has um, an online ministry. It means that people can send him questions and, and he answers these questions. Usually during the week, there are like six, seven, eight new answers, really. There are a lot of people ask about different things. And there is a possibility that you can comment on these answers. And I read one his answer, and during that answer, he used, or he tried to help to explain the problem, and he used one verse from gospel, this application for life, which was part of his answer. And then I read, it was nicely done, his answer, very good. But there, I could read a comment there. Somebody, apparently not Catholic, tried to bring own opinion, he said, well, this is typical Catholic answer, but I understand this verse this way. And he gave explanation of that verse. So when I read this, my eyes were like open. I said, it's possible that somebody is making so big fool of himself through this, you know? But, but this is, reality, especially outside of Catholic Church or Orthodox Church, there is this opening that while well, we believe, people believe that Holy Spirit talks directly to heart and gives this wisdom and everybody can explain Holy Spirit as the person feels. But if there, if there are not enough knowledge, if there are not enough prayer, if there is not enough this, this attachment to Christ, 
then answers or these explanations can be very wrong and not correct. They reflect own wishes or human wishes, not God's true. And this, and I was thinking about this and I realized this can happen even to us. Maybe we pay attention. We are, we are really trying to understand Holy Scripture perfectly, how it was explained by Holy Fathers. But we make similar mistake in our spiritual life. Because many times we see, okay, this fits to me. It seems to me that this is the way how I should live my life with Christ. This is the way how I should praise God. This is the way how I should pray. And many times we make these conclusions, we make these conclusions based on our own wisdom. And many times this our wisdom is darkened by sin, is darkened our will and our understanding is marked by our passions. So we don't see clearly. And sometimes we do something little and it is in our eyes that it is like great. Or we do and we act. In many ways we give a lot of energy thinking that through this we are trying to, to make our spiritual life stronger, but it is bad way. We, we, we are in some kind of illusion of which came from our own wish, not from the truth. So let's try to be careful, especially now when we are still in the beginning of the great fast and don't trust ourselves how we should love God, how we should take care of our soul, how we should take care of our heart, how we should come closer to God through different spiritual activities. Don't trust yourself. Take a book from a saint who's writing his life or her life. And try to read that book during this, this holy time and to look not only what is there written there, but to try to find there how these holy people, how these saints understood spiritual life, you know, and how they, how they tried to live. And I, because they became already saints, their example can help us. And it is really good. And we are cured from our own images. We are many times cured from our own understanding. Just one, one funny thing, you know, that uh, last week uh, I came to church to pray and made a lot of prostrations. You know, a lot of, you know, it was maybe 50. And I stood up and I went home and I saw, 50 prostrations. I was like, great job, and, you know, talking to myself. I was so proud of myself, you know. And I came home and, then, and I reached for one book. I started to read, and it was like God really smashed me immediately because I read an advice given by one elder to a person who came to visit him and asked, how I am supposed to live my spiritual life. And this elder told him what he's supposed to do, and he said, don't forget to make at least 500 prostrations per day. I said, <laughs> so I said, well, where I am, you know, where I am. But I was in this illusion that I did something, what in fact was nothing. And saints, they give us this challenge. If we don't listen to their voice, if we don't try to find out how they reach this holiness, we will not know how to live. We need their advices. We need their wisdom to adjust 
and to find encouragement and to find right way for our life. If not, we will be living in false illusions. And it's not good for our life. Amen. Let us all say with our soul and with our mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, our Father, as we pray you here, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here, and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for Holy Father Francis Popo Roman, for most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God, loving Bishop Milan, for those who serve and have served in His Holy Church, for our spiritual fathers and for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our, the people who are present who have your great abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Now the powers, the
complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious and please sanctify gifts placed before us, there are God who loves us all, may receive this holy heaven and mystical treasure of all spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return His divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, rest, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole evening be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace and a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the pardon and the remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful, and our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Ask Him for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us come to ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. O God, O mysteries beyond human thought and vision, in you are hidden the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. You have revealed to us the service of this liturgy, and in your great love have appointed us sinners to offer gifts and sacrifices for our sins and for the people's failings. O invisible King, you perform wonders that cannot be fathomed and miracles that cannot be counted. Look upon us, your unworthy servants, as we stand before this holy altar, as before your cherubic throne, where your only begotten Son and our God is present in these awesome mysteries here before us. Deliver us and your faithful people from every impurity, sanctify our souls and bodies with holiness that can be taken away, that we may partake of these holy gifts with a pure conscience, without shame and with an enlightened heart. As we are given life by them, may we be united with your Christ himself, our true God, who said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. With Christ, your word, living in us, of walking among us, O Lord, may we become a temple of your all holy, adorable spirit, rescued from every trap of the devil, set in deed or word or thought. Together with all your saints who have been pleasing to you since time began, may we obtain the promised blessings and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation the call you Father, God of heaven and Son. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. 
bow your heads to the Lord. The grace, the mercy, and loving kindness, and begotten Son, with me are blessed together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy, pre-sanctified gifts to holy people. What is holy, what is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O Lord, I believe believe that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which, I pray, make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord Amen. 
Blessed is our God who enlightens and sanctifies us always, now and ever and forever. Amen. We give you thanks, O Christ our God, that you Pure immortal heaven, life creating all some mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord have mercy. God and Savior, all we thank you for all the blessing you have given us and for communion in the holy body and blood of your Christ. We pray, you loving Master, protect us by the shadow of your wings and grant that until our last breath. We may partake worthily of your holy gifts for the enlightenment of soul and body and for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. For you are our sanctification, we give glory to you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Almighty Lord, in wisdom you created everything through your inexpressible providence and great goodness you have brought us to these solemn days for the purification of soul and body, the control of passions and the hope of resurrection. During the forty days you gave your servant Moses the tablets of the law inscribed by your divine hand. In your goodness grant that we also may fight the good fight, complete the course of the fast, keep the faith without division, crush the heads of invisible serpents, conquer sin and arrive without reproach to worship your holy resurrection. For bless and glorify this most is your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace, loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to your 
praise God, our hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May grace, O true God, have mercy on us and save us, we pray, so his most pure mother. O the holy, glorious, glorious apostles, the holy father, and the cause of the wonder worker, Archbishop Myra, the patron of this church, and to the prayers of all the saints. For Christ is good and loves us all. Amen.